We've had a little bit of practice when it comes to the mentality of going into a tournament or a season and trying to do something again. Obviously, we won um, National Indoors in 2022. And then in 2023, we went in and had to kind of, you know, we had to back it up. And, um, you know, that's one of our team's golden rules is, uh, is we got 10 of them, but one of them, you know, is back up the big win. So after you do something good, you have to prove that you are that good and you have to do it again. And, uh, you know, we talk about this a lot during the week, you know, normally Monday's an off day and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we practice and then going into the weekends, you know, you have matches or whatever. Um, so the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's like, we have to be great three days in a row because to win tournaments, the UAA Championship, the National Indoors, the NCAAs, you have to be great three days in a row. You can't really have an off day because everybody you're playing is very good. So I think generally the culture of the team has has been a really solid reason that going into a season trying to back up winning the NCAA National Championship, it's sort of like, okay, uh, we have to do it again because that's kind of what our culture says and what we want to do. And uh, on, honestly, I think the leadership of this team has been really, really great. They they are very humble and they don't really talk that much about what was done last year. And they're really hungry and want to do it again because they know how fun it is and, and how how great that, you know, that bottle of wind tastes and they, they want to go, go to the store and grab another one. Everybody moves up a uh, spot, and um, you know clearly losing Hopper is a is a big deal. I mean, he went into Division One at Virginia. Now he's ranked sixth in the country in doubles, playing number one doubles for them, and just played five singles against Ohio State this past weekend. So he's a legitimate tennis player at all levels. Um, and you take that away and it's kind of like, you know, mathematically taking away 1.5 points a match on average, maybe closer to two points, maybe 1.75 is zero to start every match with that guy uh, last year. So uh, I think the fact that Fish made it to the NCAA semifinals last year really helped uh, show him that, you know, he can play with anybody in the country, if not think of himself as one of the best players you know, in the country. I know that he wants to win one individually. That's one of his main goals. And, and so playing at one will, will be big for him, you know, and, and honestly, we, we do need to mix it up at one. Like AJ Mahetheron has like been just a bulldozer. I, I mean, he has gotten so much better in the past year and his ball speaks for it. You know, winning the regional tournament, then beating the number one player in the country at ITA Fall Cup. And then, you know, <laughs> To be fair, Michael Spipanto is playing at an insanely high level also. Um, so we have three guys, I think, that can hold down that top spot. Um, and then we'll, we'll just kind of have all these matches in February to really sort that out and figure out uh, who, goes, who goes into which slot. Uh, and then the depth remains the depth. I mean, that, that's really honestly, in 2014, when we made it to the Elite Eight, and CJ Krimble was the GOAT and top 10 winner and national champion and all that. On Like our depth, you know, kind of wasn't where it needed to be to win a national title. So it took us, feels like decades, but you know, it took us uh, six years to get back there. And then now I think the strength is the depth. Um, having guys at five and six and seven and eight that can beat people at one and two and three. You, you know how aggressively we schedule with so many double headers. I mean, we're going to give everybody looks up top to just see how high of a level they can play uh, tennis at. So we talked about the usual suspects that were in there winning a national championship. Uh, Casey Hishinuma had an amazing fall. I mean, he's going to be he's going to be right in there. Uh, Ansh Shaw was hurt in the fall. He um, or a ligament in his ankle, uh, maybe partially torn, uh, but he couldn't play anything in the fall. And he looked really good. He's back, he's fully healthy. Um, and those are the guys that played. Now, then there's that open spot that Hopper left where 
Uh, you know, you've got a guy named Diego Maza that's been waiting five years for that spot. Um, and, and he's been working his butt off. Anme Devaraj is really talented um, and he's got a year under his belt of experience kind of looking at how it works. He seems very hungry and driven. And then honestly, I think Matt Plunkett, um, he had a really, you know, just an awesome last year and a half developing. He just keeps getting better and better. Makes me proud to see this, you know, this kind of average three-star kid that came from Chicago and sort of underranked and he's playing at a really high level too. So the, like I said, these double headers are gonna be really important for guys like Matt on my Diego to get reps against some of the other top players from the other teams. Um, you know, just to see exactly where their level's at and how bad they wanna, you know, dive into that fire and, and feel the pressure, you know, that you feel when you're playing for a national championship. Well, things, things always come in threes. Uh, like I said, you gotta be great three days in a row. Um, the threes for us are being great three days in a row at National Indoors. So we've got a couple of really good matches leading up to National Indoors to get us ready. We will, we will try to capture that one for the third year in a row. Um, so there's the three again. Uh, you know, we're looking for a three-peat at National Indoors and then two weeks later really is like probably the most highlighted moment of our schedule, which is uh, the stag end. Going back to California for the first time in five years, I, I don't know, like my memory is blurry, but I don't know that we've ever even won the quarterfinal match at the stag end um, in history. Like that tournament forever, you know, it's just been, we go out there and just have gotten rocked. Like, I remember one time Claremont beat us so bad. Um, and we had Krimble. I mean, he was playing at one, and, and even he got smacked, you know, really bad. And uh, I just think a lot of people are, like, really excited about that one. It's new. We've never accomplished it before. It's never been done that, you know, we've gone out and been able to win that tournament. Uh, we're really going to be looking at that. I, I know we've been training uh, off court a lot to be ready for that. We want it to be 90 degrees in California at the time. Uh, if you have any pull with the man upstairs and can get it as hot as possible, that would be amazing for us. Um, we would love that. And then the third leg of the regular season is the, <laughs> is the UAA championship. So, uh, you know, we, we don't talk about NCAAs yet. Uh, you have to earn your way there. That's why the three things for us are the three kind of peaks of the mountain are National Indoors, Stag Hen, UAAs. UAA being the most important ending to it all. I mean, that's what means everything. Winning that title for the first time ever last year was just an unbelievable feeling. Going back to that Orlando airport, I know our guys are going to be hunting for that win again. Um, but yeah, like I think that the new addition of going back to California for the first time since COVID and playing in that stag end is something that we are really, really excited about. You just gotta keep getting better every week. You know, this is like, you know, three months of, uh, you know, just development. And we have to just keep focused on getting better, getting better, getting better, getting fitter, adjusting our games to what we think is necessary at the time. Like, like I said, going to California now for the first time in a while is different. I mean, we were getting comfortable in Orlando and, um, you know, that, that's going to be a new thing. So again, like we're training really hard off the court. Um, I really love what the guys are doing in the weight room and uh, what Coach Ty is, has been doing with them. But yeah, like we, we can't really think the 2024 championship, it just doesn't happen now. You know, like we can't talk about it now. We have to just like get better this weekend. Like we had this scrimmage with Tiffin. There's some things that have to get better by the time we play Holy Cross in Allegheny on Friday. And then when that happens, we'll cross that bridge. We'll keep trying to improve. And we have to make sure that every single week our energy is really high. And if our energy is really high and we're competing against each other in practice and pushing each other uh, to tense moments where we're fighting with each other and we're really preparing ourselves for battle uh, with these other teams like that are giving us their best shot, 
uh, then the rest down the road will take care of itself. It's so cliche to say like, okay, we, we, we're going to win the week now. You know, like Steph Curry says, every week the Warriors want to go two and one. Um, you know, that's their goal. Uh, and it's cliche, but like really, you know, I can't stress it enough. We have to get better this week at the things that we know we need to do heading towards Friday, our doubleheader this week, and then we just kind of go. And I felt like that really helped us the last couple of years, just kind of taking it one peak at a time. So this peak that we're approaching, this mountain that we're going to climb is National Indoors. Okay, good. Then we'll take a few days off. We'll relax. And then we'll regroup as we head towards the stag end. And then we'll climb that one. But, you know, you can't see the other peak until you get to the top of the first one.